Well, tonight our Environment Northwest team is looking at the impact of more federal cuts that will impact people who forecast weather across the country. Also, scientists who monitor earthquakes. Meteorologist Leah Pacetti here now. Uh, there are a lot of branches impacted by these cuts. What do we what do we think this is going to do? Well, it's like you said, it's everything from earthquakes, it's forecasting, it's th things going on in our ocean. Uh, earthquakes specifically right now, we've had a couple rumblings around recently. We've been keeping an eye on that. Uh, and we know about these because of all the work that the scientists at the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network have done. They've been working through the last decade to expand the now 700 seismic monitoring sites around the Northwest. These are key for knowing before an earthquake is is going to hit. The Washington State Seismologist says with a reduced staff, scientists with the U.S. Geological Survey and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network won't be able to maintain and potentially monitor these sites. Plus, they might not have the funding to fix them if they should break, and that could impact our knowledge and early warning signs of when and if an earthquake is coming. Every time they need to order, you know, a new part for a station that's gone down and they need to bring it back up, that's the potential impact that we are going to see if these kinds of freezes do continue. He says he's also concerned this will have a direct impact on their ability to monitor volcano and tsunami warning systems. A former NOAA researcher tells King 5 the Tsunami Warning Center lost one person from an already lean staff. It's the same idea. We need those people for real-time knowledge of tsunami risk because they're the ones that send out those alerts and let people know to find a safe space if it is needed. The one that made news was the, the firing of hundreds of meteorologists from mm -hmm. the National Weather Service. Yeah. Now, from a 30,000 you know, foot view, it's like, oh, that's a great place to save money. But I'm assuming they all have yeah. very important jobs. Right, and that's the thing, is that when we look at a region like the South, for example, let's take a look at another part of the country. Right now, we're heading into peak tornado tornado season, April, May, and June. So if we're lean, uh, going lean and mean on these meteorologists in places like central and southern United States, they're going to become understaffed. And when something like a tornado pops up that needs immediate alerts, cuts to these jobs could absolutely impact how quickly and efficiently those threats are monitored. And that could mean life or death situations, especially when we're talking about that yeah, severe it, weather threat. It's a lot of back and forth with mm -hmm. the budget and everything else. It'll be interesting to see in a, a, a few months or maybe you know, later this year, kind of what the impact is and, mm -hmm. and measure it. Like, I don't yeah. know. It's just and we've reached out to a lot of the scientists who could potentially be impacted. And at this point, uh, no one has been able to get back to us. These are scientists who I have worked with directly for stories and for content gathering and gathering information. Mm -hmm. They're incredible scientists. No one's able to comment at this point, but certainly something as a professional myself, when I look at these scientists, I know that they're important and uh, they have an incredible role that they're playing. We'll keep us posted when they do make contact. Yes, All right. Thanks, absolutely. Leah.